To complete the typical hip closure installation, you will need metal closure channel with foam insert, extruded closure support, number 12 diameter by 3 quarter inch low profile sheet metal screws, one part polyurethane sealant caulk, one eighth inch by one inch butyl tape, continuous hold down cleat and hip flashing, number 14 by 3 quarter inch stainless steel or painted plated sheet metal screws with neoprene faced washers. Hip panels are bevel cut to suit the hip condition. They do not require pan ending but should extend as high as possible to the peak. When the fixed point is at the hip, the fasteners must be behind the closure. See the fixed points installation video for more information. Measure parallel to the hip for proper placement of the closure channel. Field cut the channel from 10 foot lengths to fit between the ribs. The foam insert is supplied in 25 foot lengths. Cut segments of the foam one inch larger than the closure and place them between the ribs. Fasten the extruded closure support at each rib with the number 12 diameter by 3 quarter inch low profile sheet metal screws. On the rear of the closure, apply a continuous bead of one part polyurethane sealant caulk. Then apply the 1 8 inch by 1 inch butyl tape on top of the closures. Repeat this procedure on both sides of the hip. Install the continuous cleat on one side of the hip. Fasten to the metal closure with the number 12 diameter by 3 quarter inch low profile sheet metal screws at 12 inches on center. Hook the hip flashing on the cleat and fasten to the closure on the opposite side with the number 14 diameter by 3 quarter inch screws with neoprene faced washers at 12 inches on center. Utilize 4 inch sealed lap joints for the hip flashing. See the flashing expansion joints installation for more information. Hip conditions over open purlins may require a heavy gauge hip plate between the purlins to provide support and a fastening point for the panels.